Hey, it's Kia, and I um, recently got my hair redone as I had last summer. Some fun micros in there done with 100% Canicolon, and um, I have scalp issues anyway. I have psoriasis in my scalp, so I, you know, was looking for all kinds of ways to keep my scalp moisturized. I'm using oil sheen, I'm using olive oil, just straight olive oil from the pantry, putting it on my scalp and nothing seemed to work. So I decided to do a Google search on um, scalp itching and Canicolon hair. And I also kind of wanted to know how to wash the oils out of my hair because I've only had my braids for a week and um, they were starting to get kind of oily from all the olive oil and whatnot I was putting in there trying to nourish my scalp. Anyway, I learned that Canicolon hair has a coating on it to keep it shiny, keep it smooth, um, and to protect it, but it also causes allergic reactions in a lot of people. Surprise, surprise, I read lots of um, uh, blog posts about girls who've washed um, their Canicolon hair with apple cider vinegar. They pre-treated their hair before they used it. Well, I kind of can't do that because it's already in. So um, I decided to go about it while it was still in my hair, um, I decided to use a 2-1 split apple cider vinegar and water. I used my coffee cup, so I filled it to the two cups here with water, filled it to the three with the apple cider vinegar, and then I emptied out a spray bottle. This was one of the products that I was using last year that didn't help with itching because I didn't know about the alkaline coating on the hair. So I dumped it out, washed the bottle, filled it in here, relabeled it, so I, you know, don't forget what's in there. And so I decided to start spraying my hair from the roots. And um, as I was doing this, my spidey senses were going off. Make a video, make a video, make a video. There's probably people who are wondering how to do this while the hair is already in their head. So after Debating it, I finally, and like actually I did the back of my hair already. Um, I said, you know what, forget it, let's do a video. So you can at least see me do the front of my hair. Um, what I did is I sectioned it off in quarters. And so I already did the back. So I'll do the front now. And if I, you see me looking away all crazy, it's cause I'm looking in the mirror. Make my Minnie Mouse ears. And I'm gonna spray right down the center. And I actually like this spray bottle better cause it's a fine mist. And so I don't get like completely drenched like I would with like a regular spray bottle. Cause the point is to not drown. Um, I also wanna add that since I sprayed the back of my hair, the itching has subsided significantly. So, I mean, I don't even know what the reaction the apple cider vinegar is having with my skin on my scalp, but the itching stopped. So, that's good. What I'm gonna do is saturate the braids, focus really on the roots, since that's where it's coming in contact with my skin, and then go outward. And I don't wanna tinker with the curls too much because I don't want to lose them. I mean, I do plan to keep this hair for 10 weeks. See, I'm getting like right in there. need another hair tie.
out of the shower. So um, what I did was the obvious. Went in, let the water go all through my scalp and my hair. Oh, and during my 15 minute wait, I learned that apple cider vinegar is how a lot of naturalistas clean their scalp when they have braids. Who knew? Not me, but I do now. So that explains why my hair stopped itching when I was putting it on there. Good stuff. So how I plan to dry my hair, because you see the um, curl pattern fell just a little bit. Um, it's all about maintaining my sexy curls at this point. Now I did kind of cheat you guys because you didn't get to see how it looked when it was drenched. But what I did was I rolled my hair into a spiral bun put my rubber band on it then got my towel yeah it's my Croatia towel uh, it was more like this and just squeezed squoze my hair to get the majority of the water out um, of course you squeeze the part the uh, one you made I still feel more water coming out of it now anyway. So glad I did it again. And I'm going to let this kind of sit. I'm actually headed to the spa shortly. And still my goal is going to be to preserve these curls. So what instead of doing two strand twists and it's too much work and I'm lazy. Um, which is part of the reason why I have braids anyway. I am going to do a top knot. Swept all my hair up. I'm very careful to not pull because my braids are still new and that hurts. And the most important part, make sure you spiral it. That's part of how I kept my curls for so long last summer. So, my hair is out of my way for my facial, and I'm gonna leave it like that for a couple of hours and then take it down so that it can dry all the way through with this, um, through to the scalp, get some fresh air. And then at that point, I'm gonna treat it with the vitamin E oil on my scalp for my, my dryness. And um, yeah, that's it. Hope it helps you um, in case you were like me and didn't know about pre-treating your Canacolon hair before you put it in and um, cleansing your scalp with apple cider vinegar. And I took the, uh, the lazy woman's route um, because not all of us have the patience to fight with our hair for two hours when we put it in a style that was supposed to be easy. So anyway, take care, bye.